March 12, 1997. Allen Iverson crossed up Michael Jordan, after two drop crosses, separated by a split through. Almost everyone who plays, or played basketball knows this. But little has noticed how he gets into his shot using the float dribble after the last cross. Today, we'll show you how we train the shot out of a float dribble cross, so you'll have the full picture and all the details for building an unstoppable shot. Stay tuned, coming in a moment. We are Mihai Dumitrescu, IPT Certified Skill Enhancement Trainer, Highest Level Professional Team Coach, and Peter Peric First Tier International Professional Player in Croatia, Germany, and Slovakia, and we welcome you to our Advanced Shooting Section. The floating speed stop is common footwork that is usually developed by default by the majority of players. Even if, we encourage you to use the normal speed stop with a focus on the dribble step, and this is for its timing advantages, the floating speed stop can bring tremendous benefits in some situations, like when is coupled with a crossover, as it can create a lot of separation laterally. We will break down this move today, and we will focus on training the shot. So, you'll need to start with a wide crossover, and let the ball float high enough to allow you to move towards the side into a 1-2 stop footwork, and pick up the ball late, just before the shot. You can start from a wide open stance on how we show it, or you can use the drop cross. That's up to you, just keep in mind that the focus today is on training the shot. If you want more details about the drop cross, take a look up here, as there are some particularities you need to take into consideration for a strong technique. Getting back, it is very important to use a wide crossover, as it is the only way to do it correctly and to trick your defender. Try to go as low as you can, and pound the ball hard, if you want the float dribble to be effective, otherwise, it will not be enough amplitude to let you jump far enough to avoid a block. This shot can be a game changer for you, and for anyone who trains it the way we've described and we've shown, and if you want to be fully convinced, take a look at how Iverson took the shot against Michael Jordan after the cross, known as the 97 crossover. This is exactly what we teach you. Don't forget to go on both sides, and to move around the floor, and if you are ready you can also try it from behind the arch to see how you feel from out there. Give it a try, and let us know how it was, if you have any questions, please leave us a comment, and we'll get back to you with an answer. Also, check those videos up here, as we believe are just right for you, and you'll love them. Hope you've enjoyed this one, and we remind you to subscribe and give us a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't done it yet set your notifications on, so you'll not lose anything in the future.